Hi, and uh, today we are going to study the linearization of the nonlinear system in process dynamics and control by taking an example of the tank. So, this is linearization of nonlinear system by taking an example of a liquid level tank. So, suppose we have a tank with the cross-sectional area A this is the inlet volumetric flow rate and here we have the outlet volumetric flow rate QO and this is our liquid inside the tank if rho is the density of fluid and A is the cross-sectional area of tank H is the liquid head inside the tank and outlet volumetric flow rate is related to C times root H here as the outlet volumetric flow rate is expressed in the non-linear term so we are gonna linearize this expression so if we take the mass balance on this tank so we get mass flow rate in should be equal to mass flow rate out plus accumulation so we can write this expression in the mathematical form so this will be QI times rho and this is QO times rho plus D over DT of A rho H. Let's check the dimensioning balance of this equation. So here if it is in meter cube per second the volumetric flow rate times the density is in kg per meter cube. So this is kg per second okay then this is correct and if you check the dimensions of this term so this will be a is in meter square density is in kg per meter cube height is in meter and divided by dt in second if you take so this is also in kg per second so in fact our mass balance is correct so let's call this equation number one now we are going to assume that the, de the density of the fluid is constant so qi will be equal to qo let's write this rho, rho plus rho times d by dt of ah we can take the density common and it eventually get cancelled so qi will be equal to qo plus if you take the cross-sectional area of this tank is also constant so this should be out of the derivative sign so this will be a times d by dt of h let's call this equation number two and now we know that the outlet volumetric flow rate is related to c times root h so qi will be equal to c root h plus a times d by dt of h let's call this equation number three and now in the case of steady state so for steady state QIS will be equal to C root HS plus 0 because in this in the steady state this term will eventually turn to 0 and now if we introduce our deviation variable so introducing our deviation variable so if QI minus QIS is capital QI and our H minus HS is equal to capital H and let's call this equation number 4 if we subtract <coughs> equation number 4 from 3 then this will be QI minus QIS that should be equal to C times root H minus root HS plus a times d by dt of 
H minus H S. Because at this steady state, we are going to assume that A times D by D T of H S. So this will be H minus H S in the case of the steady state. And now we got a non-linear term that is root H. And in order to make it linear, we are going to make the use of our Taylor series. So we know that Taylor series is fx is equal to fa plus f dash a over 1 factorial times x minus a plus f double dash a over 2 factorial times x minus a square but we are going to neglect the higher order derivative and we are going to consider only first order derivative so root h will be equal to root hs plus 1 over 2 root hs 1 factorial is 1 so no need to write h minus hs let's call this equation number 5 if you put equation number 5 in equation num in this equation so we are going to substitute the value of root h as this and this is our qi minus qi which is capital qi is equal to c inside the bracket root hs plus 1 upon 2 root hs times h minus hs negative root hs as it is plus a times d by dt of capital h so this two term will get cancelled and we are left with qi is equal to c times this can be written as capital h over 2 root hs plus a times d by dt of h and now we are going to take the Laplace transform on both sides of this equation so if we take the Laplace transform on both sides of this equation so this will be qis plus co which is equal to c over 2 root hs is constant and hs plus now and now we know that the Laplace transform of d and f of t by dtn is equal to s to the power n fs minus s to the power n minus 1 f0 minus s to the power n minus 2 f dash 0 so this term as a is constant so this will be s times s to the power 1 times hs and this will be qis will be equal to if we take it as common from these two terms so this will be c over 2 root hs plus as and now we know that the transfer function is in the form of the laplace transform of output division variable divided by the laplace transform of input division variable so our output division variable is hs and the laplace transform of input division variable is qis so this will be hs over qis will be equal to 1 upon c upon 2 root hs plus as if you simplify this term we get 1 upon c plus 2 root hs as over 2 root hs and this will be 2 root hs over c plus 2 root hs times as mm -hmm. and now we are going to compare this transfer function with our standard first order transfer function which is in the form of so in the case of the standard first order transfer function it is in the form of r upon 1 plus tau s so we are going to make this term 1 means we have we have to take c common so 2 root hs upon if we take c common this will be 1 plus 2 root hs times a divided by c times s and this can be written as 2 root hs by c over 1 plus 2 root hs times a by c multiplied by s and if we compare this equation this is our transfer function hs over qis if you compare this transfer function with the standard first order transfer function then it is very clear that our time constant tau is 2 root hs times the cross sectional area divided by c 
So this is the transfer function in the case of linearization of the nonlinear system. And now in order to get the deep understanding of this transfer function, we are going to solve two problems which are dependent upon the linearization of the nonlinear system. And now here we have our first example. A liquid level system has the cross-sectional area of 3 feet square. The value of the, the wolf characteristics are Q is equal to 8 multiplied by H to the power 1 by 2 where Q is the volume, the flow rate in feet cube per minute that is in feet cube per minute. This term CFM and H is the liquid above the valve. Calculate the time constant for this system if the average operating level is 3 feet and 9 feet. So we know that by looking at this expression we should easily identify that this problem is related to the linearization of nonlinear system. And in the case of the linearization of the nonlinear system, we derived that our time constant tau is equal to 2 root hs times a by c. So in the first case our tau will be equal to 2 root hs is 3 feet times our area is 3 feet square divided by instead of c here we have 8 so this will be our 2 root 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 8 so here our time constant will be 1.2990 this is 1.2990 minutes because our flow rate is in minutes so our time constant, our flow rate is in cubic feet per minute, so our time constant will be in minutes. And in the second case, we are going to take the root h as 9 feet. So tau will be equal to 2 root 9 feet times 3 feet square over 8. So this will be 2.25 minutes and the second example is for a tank of the cross-sectional area 100 centimeter square and the inlet flow rate is q1 in centimeter cube per second the outlet flow rate qo in centimeter cube per second is related to the liquid height in centimeter as qo is equal to 3 root h so by looking at this expression we should identify that this problem is related to the linearization of nonlinear system then the transfer function of the process around the steady state point qrs 18 centimeter cube per second and hrs is so here we need to find the transfer function and we know that we have derived that hs upon qrs is equal to 2 root hs over c upon 1 plus 2 root hs times a by cs so our numerator will be equal to 2 root 36 by here c is 3 upon 1 plus 2 root 36 by 3 into 100 times s. So this is the transfer function for this particular example. And if you simplify this, so this will be 2 into root 36 by 3. So this is 4 upon 1 plus 4 into 100 is 400 as so this is the transfer function for this particular problem and this was all the information regarding the linearization of the nonlinear system by taking an example of the liquid level tank and thank you for watching this video